In this video, we're going to be talking about Hill Huntington's method of apportionment or the apportionment method that's used in today's House of Representatives. It's been in use since 1941. It was invented by Edward Huntington, who revised Joseph Hill's method. It's similar to Webster's method. Before Hill Huntington's method was adopted by Congress, they were using Webster's method, but at the time, Hill Huntington would have given an extra seat to a Democrat state over a Republican one, and there were more Democrats in Congress at the time, so they voted to change the method to Hill Huntington's, which uh, benefited them. There is more about that in your textbook in Section 2.3. Before we can talk about how to use Hill Huntington's method, we first need to talk about what something called the geometric mean is. The geometric mean of a number is the square root of the product of the two whole numbers that the number lies between. An example, find the geometric mean of first 7.1238. If we draw out a number line like this, 7.1 falls between 7 and 8. So the geometric mean of this number would be the square root of 7 times 8, or the square root of 56, which happens to be 7.4833. If we wanted to find the geometric mean of 15.8742, we would need to find the two numbers that 15.87 falls between. If we draw out a number line, we would see 15.87 is going to fall somewhere between 15 and 16. So the geometric mean of this number would be the square root of 15 times 16 or the square root of 240, which ends up being 15.4919. Now we can talk about how to apportion using Hill Huntington's method. The first thing you need to do, follow steps one to three of Hamilton's method. Again, remember the first three steps are finding the total population, identifying the house size, using those two things to find the natural divisor, and then using the natural divisor and state populations to calculate the natural state quotas. The second step, calculate the geometric mean for each natural state quota. Three, for the initial allocation, if a state's quota is greater than or equal to its geometric mean, round up. If it is less than its geometric mean, round down and allocate each state this number of seats initially. If the initial allocation sums to the correct house size, we're done. If not, Step four, you would modify the divisor the same way we would do in Webster's method until the new modified state quotas rounded based on their geometric means sum to the correct house size. Now let's look at an example that'll help us figure out how we would round in Hill Huntington's method based on the geometric mean. Using Hill Huntington, how many seats would the following state quotas be allocated initially? In order to answer this, we need to find the geometric mean for these quotas and then see are these quotas that were given less than the geometric mean or greater than or equal to the geometric mean? So for 2.46, the geometric mean would be the square root of 2 times 3 or the square root of 6, which is 2.4495. Now our initial quota that they gave us, 2.4633, is in fact greater than its geometric mean. So this would round up. So this would round up, and they would initially be allocated three seats. Now I know this is a little bit of a weird example because normally 2.46 would round down because it's less than 0.5. But the rounding rule here says we're comparing the number to its geometric mean. If it's greater than or equal to its geometric mean, round up. If it's less than its geometric mean, round down. So you can see numbers that would normally round down, round up in Hill Huntington. Now let's take a look at part B. First we would need to find the geometric mean of 7.4633. So we would take the square root of 7 times 8. This works out to be 7.4833. So 7.4633 is less than its geometric mean of 7.4833. So it would round down to 7. Now I would suggest pausing the video, try to work through part C and D on your own, then hit play to see me go through the rest of the solution. So for part C, we need to find the geometric mean of 2.7899. So the square root of 2 times 3, or square root of 6, ends up being 2.4494. And 2.7899 
is greater than or equal to 2.4494, so this rounds up to 3. One thing I want to say about geometric means is normally if the number would round up anyway, it's going to be greater than or equal to its geometric mean. Now we'll take a look at part D. We want to find the geometric mean of this guy, which is going to be the same thing as it was in B. Square root of 7 times 8 is equal to 7.4833. 7.3451 is less than 7.4833, so this would round down to 7. And normally if a number would round down anyway, and it ends in something less than 0.4, so if it's 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.0, it's going to be less than its geometric mean and will round down anyway. So now let's look at an example where we are going to actually apportion something using Hill Huntington's method. Here we want to apportion 41 seats. So this is our house size. So the first thing that we need to do here now that we've identified our house size is find our total population. Now that we have our total population by adding up all of the state populations, we want to find our natural divisor. So take the total population, divide it by the house size, and we have our natural divisor. The next thing we need to do is find our natural state quotas, which is where we take each state population, divide it by the natural divisor, and we get the following natural state quotas. The next thing we need to do is find the geometric mean for each natural quota. So state A had a quota of 7.4111, so its geometric mean is the square root of 7 times 8. State B had a natural quota of 24.5, so its geometric mean is the square root of 24 times 25. State C has a natural quota of 9.0, so its geometric mean is the square root of 9 times 10. The next thing we need to do is find our initial allocations. To do that, we're going to take each natural quota and compare it to the geometric mean. If it's less than the geometric mean, we round down. If it's equal to its geometric mean or greater, we round up. So 7.4111 is less than 7.4833, so this initial allocation will be 7. The next quota is 24.5, which is greater than its geometric mean of 24.49, so this one rounds up to 25. And the next quota, 9.0, is less than its geometric mean of 9.48, so this rounds down to 9. And if we add all of these up, we end up adding up to 41, which is the correct house size, and we don't need to do anything else. So one tip we have, if a quota would normally round up, meaning it ends in 0.5 or higher, it will be greater than its geometric mean and round up for the Hill-Huntington initial allocation. If a quota ends in 0.0 through 0.3, so 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, it will usually round down. It's most important to check the geometric mean for any quotas that end in 0.4 something. Now let's look at another example. Apportion 35 representatives using Hill Huntington's method. So 35 is our house size. Now what we need to do is find our total population. So if we add up all of our state populations, we end up with a total population of 4,490. Now we need to find our natural divisor, divide our total population by our house size, and we end up with a natural divisor of 128, 0.2857. Now we would take our natural divisor, divide each state population by this number, and we're going to get our natural quotas. And we end up with the following natural quotas. Now that we have our natural quotas, we need to find the geometric mean for each state's natural quota. So for Neo-Yokio, it would be square root of 8 times 9 works out to be 8.4853. For Zadia, it would be square root of 7 times 8, which works out to be 7.4833. Ba Sing Se would be square root of 10 times 11, which works out to be 10.4881. And Omelas would be square root of 9 times 10, which works out to be 9.4868. Next, we can figure out what our initial allocation is. And for that, we need to take each natural quota and compare it to its geometric mean. A quota of 8.1 is less than a geometric mean of 8.4, so 
So this would round down to 8. A quota of 7.2 is less than a geometric mean of 7.4, so this rounds down to 7. A quota of 10.1 is less than a geometric mean of 10.4, so this rounds down to 10. A natural quota of 9.46 is less than a geometric mean of 9.48, so this one rounds down to 9. And if we add all of these up, we end up getting an initial allocation of 34, which is too small. So we would try a new divisor now, and whatever divisor we try, we want it to be small. So it's the same technique we would use for Jefferson and Webster. If you initially allocate too few seats, you want to make your new divisor smaller. Okay, so for a new divisor that we could try, we could try 125. That's smaller than that. If you were doing this on your own, any divisor between a 125 and 127 should work. So now we'll take each state population and divide them by our modified divisor of 125, and we're going to get the following modified quotas when we do that. And now if we compare our modified quotas to their geometric means, we can determine how everything's going to round. So here we have a modified quota of 8.3, which is less than its geometric mean of 8.4, so this one will round down to 8. We have a modified quota of 7.45, which is less than its geometric mean of 7.48, so this rounds down to 7. We have a modified quota of 10.42, which is less than its geometric mean of 10.48, so this rounds down to 10. Then we have a modified quota of 9.7, which is greater than its geometric mean of 9.48, so that rounds up to 10. And then if we add all of these up, they add up to 35, which is the correct house size, making this our final allocation. Now we'll look at another example uh, using Hill Huntington's method and see what happens if our initial allocation ends up being too large. So the first thing that we would need to do here Recognize that 37 is our house size. Then we would need to find our total population. Now that we have our total population and our house size, we can use that to find our natural divisor. And now that we have our natural divisor, we can use it to calculate natural state quotas. We would take each state population and divide it by the natural divisor to get the following quotas. Now that we have our natural state quotas, we need to calculate the geometric mean for each one. So we have a natural quota of 10.0, so we would take square root of 10 times 11, and we would get the other square roots, and we end up getting the following geometric means. Now we can figure out what our initial allocation is, that we have our natural quotas and geometric means. So we have our first quota of 10.0, less than its geometric mean of 10.4, so this rounds down to 10. Next we have a natural quota of 9.49, which is greater than its geometric mean of 9.48, so this rounds up to 10. Next we have a natural quota of 6.49, which is greater than its geometric mean of 6.48, so that rounds up to 7. Then we have a natural quota of 11.0, which is less than its geometric mean of 11.4, so this rounds down to 11. If we add all of these up, we end up getting 38, which is too large. So when we modify our divisor, we want to make our modified divisor larger. So maybe we want to try 201, maybe we want to try 250, this one ended up being pretty tricky. It is pretty difficult to come up with these problems that you know end up having nice divisors every time, but the modified divisor that will work in this case is 200.5, which is only a little bit bigger than the natural divisor. So now we'll use this modified divisor to find our modified quotas. And to do that, we take each state population and divide it by 205. We do that and we end up with the following modified quotas. Okay, 
So now in order to determine how these guys round, we're going to need to compare them to the geometric means again. However, we run into a problem here with our first modified quota. Our original quota here, 10.0, had a geometric mean of square root of 10 times 11. Here, we're going to need to compare it to a new geometric mean, the square root of 9 times 10, because that's the two numbers that this modified quota falls between. Luckily, we calculated that already, so we can just copy that and we would be comparing this modified quota to its new geometric mean. The geometric means for the next two modified quotas say the same. So we still have nine point something, we still have six point something. But again this happened but again we see something happen with the last modified quota. Their geometric mean was originally the square root of eleven times twelve. Now their geometric mean would be the square root of ten times eleven which luckily we also already calculated before, so we can just copy that. And then the geometric means of the two middle ones stay the same. And I'm just writing them down again so we have them here. Now to determine how these modified quotas are going to round and what allocation they'll give us, we need to compare them to their geometric means. So a modified quota of 9.98 is greater than the geometric mean of 9.48, so this one rounds up to 10. A modified quota of 9.47, less than the geometric mean of 9.48, so this rounds down to 9, which is what we wanted to happen because we wanted to lose some seats. Now we have a modified quota of 6.4838, greater than the geometric mean of 6.4807, but only by a little bit, but it's enough for this one to round up to 7. Then we have a modified quota of 10.9776, which is greater than its geometric mean of 10.4881, so this rounds up to 11. And if we add all of these up now, we end up getting 37, which is the correct house size.